Today, I'm gonna to be trying press-ons from Sally Beauty Supply. I went in there just seeing what they had and I came across these. They are so cute and I'm going on a trip and I find that it's easier for me to have simpler non-3D nails when I travel. It just makes everything easy. So, we're gonna do these. So, they come in a little pack like this. I just love this like rose quartz thing going on. This is so cute. This is by, what is this? Nail Bliss. And these are the extra long. Ooh. Yeah, y'all know that I have to get like extra long because I have long nail beds. So, you know, I may cut these down. I don't know, we'll see. But you get 30 of the press-ons nail glue and you get this little file and cuticle pusher. This is sealed real good. <laughs> All right, we got it. All right, so I'm gonna just go and pick out my sizes. Hopefully these are, they fit okay because I don't really have any backups for my trip. <laughs> Trying to open these without them popping out. Okay, we did it. So let me just get an idea of how, okay, that is a big thumb. It's probably a little too big. Yeah, that's a little too big. Okay, but it looks like these will fit. And I'll be putting them on both hands, so we're gonna have the ultimate test of a full set of press-ons. Ooh, I like how that fit. Size is just... I can't see y'all, these numbers be so little. Okay. <laughs> that is a five. I normally use a five for this one. Uh, where is, um? where are my things? Okay. Ooh, got the matching little mixing plate. You know, you know, your girl loves to coordinate, okay? <laughs> All right, so we got that. Um, What was that? That was the middle finger. Okay, I'm gonna need two, cause I got both hands. All right, so we'll do pink and purple. My hands are usually the same, so let me see. Yeah, the five on my middle finger is just a little too small for sidewall, but it looks like it's gonna be good for my ring finger. So we're gonna use that for that. Got the middle. Yeah, my numbers, um, as far as the sizes and stuff, they're usually like the same on each hand, so hopefully that works out. Like I said, this kit, well, this set comes with 30 pieces. So I'm hoping there are duplicates of each size because y'all know normally I don't do both hands, but since I'm going out of town, I want to be normal for once. <laughs> Last time I went to LA and I had like two different sets on, it was like 3D charms and it, it was a lot to travel with. Like I had to be extra careful that I didn't hit my hand because we don't need any more hand injuries. If you know, you know. <laughs> But um, this time I was like, okay, whenever I travel, it's just gonna be easy plain nails. Y'all, I cannot see these numbers. Ooh. <laughs> All right, that one was a seven. But my goal with these, you know, because they have like this kind of translucent type base and stuff, I wanna make them look not as pressed ones as possible, if that makes sense. Okay. This is gonna take forever sorting through these sizes, so. I'll be right back. So we got all the sizes picked out and here they are. I just love how they look on these little mixing palettes. It's so cute. All right, but so after going through all the sizes, there is two of each size. So that does help. <laughs> um, but I did notice that with some of these, I'm gonna have to file them. Um, I think it was, no, it wasn't this one. I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> I think it was the middle fingers. No, that actually looks all right. I don't know. It looks, it kind of just feels a little bit like I need to do this corner. But yeah, don't be afraid to customize your press ons because you're the one that's gonna wear them. So they have to be comfortable. They have to fit, you know, all the basics. Yeah, that fits a little better. I wonder if that was the only one. Let's see. Okay, that one fits pretty good. And we're gonna round this one as well. I wanna make sure that, um, you know, these don't lift or anything, you know, while I'm out of town. <laughs> so it is imperative that they fit really good around the cuticle area, you know, so they look all uh, natural and whatnot. Okay, and we're just gonna do the same thing for this side. All right. I think that was probably it. Everything else fits pretty good. Oh, no, that one big. <laughs> 
Now, because there's only one of each side, you do not want to overfile and mess up a nail <laughs> because then you won't have that size. So just be careful. Ooh. But yeah, I noticed that um, Sally Beauty Supply, they like carry a lot of the nail bliss. Um, just, I guess that's, you know, I'm not sure if that's just in my area, but that's all I was seeing in there. So it wasn't like any other brand. I wonder if that's probably they brand, you know? Mm -mm. But yeah, I want these to look really good. So I have already done my prep and not prime, but I've already prepped my nails, you know, filed them and did all my cuticle work and all that. So we could just dive right in. Now, not saying that I don't trust this nail glue because I'm sure it does work and that's great, <laughs> but I'm going to be using something that I know is going to last me and that is my Young Nails Brush On Nail Glue. I love this stuff. So, um, let's see, do I need to do anything else before I put these on? <laughs> because once you put them on, they own. All right, so let me start with, um, just have something to rest my hand on. This is like so cute. I should have bought like two packs of these because these are really, really cute. Okay, so um, from my last press on video, I found that putting glue on my nail and the nail tip really did help with eliminating as many air bubbles as possible. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna put a little bit on here and a little bit on here i never like i can't can't tell y'all how much to put on there because i don't even know <laughs> and then we're just gonna slide it on that looks so pretty all right we're just gonna let this sit here because i want to make sure that it adheres completely without any air bubbles <laughs> So we're just gonna hold that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. That is really, really cute. Come on. Oh, yeah. That is really, really cute. Especially like I wanted something that was really cute and neutral because I'm gonna be wearing like all different type of color outfits and stuff. And so I didn't wanna com like commit to one color for my nails because you know, I don't want it to clash too much. So, you know, this is cute. It's gonna go with like everything, okay? All right, so we're gonna repeat this for all of the nails. So we got the nails on, and man, and they look good. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gonna shape them up, okay? As always, you know, these press-ons be having these little plastic nubs on there, so we are gonna clean that up. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm a if I'm gonna file them down a little bit. I might just keep them like that, we'll see. You don't wanna <laughs> file too much. I gotta remember, this is plastic. Ooh. Okay, let me go ahead and file these and I'll be right back. All right, so filing is done and we are left with these crisp nails. Loving the shape on these. All right, so now we're just gonna apply some cuticle oil and yeah, y'all can't tell me these don't look good. <laughs> I was going back and forth on how I wanted to wear my nails on my trip and I'm satisfied with these. Look at these y'all. They did really good on this nail design. I love it. <laughs> so y'all know the deal, I'm gonna wear these I say for a week, it's probably gonna be a little bit over because I'm gonna be out of town for a week and you know. So it's gonna be, you know, a week-ish, but I'll keep y'all updated on how these last. So welcome to my messy room, but <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of packing, but I wanted to do a quick update for y'all. So this is day two and the nails are still looking good. I really, really like this nail design. I think it is so cute. And I'm actually liking the cuticles on these so much better. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. And I didn't get any lifting or anything like that. So that's good. Hey y'all. So I'm back doing another update. I don't even know what day I'm on. I think it's like maybe four, three. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they still, they still getting it. After a few days on uh, some of the other press-ons, like it started to get that crisp, crusty cuticles from like the glue. 
but these haven't done that so i appreciate it it actually looks like i sculpted these so i like i like see hubby over there tearing this up tearing it up we went back to this hot dog spot i was telling y'all about oh God. and it's good we came on a saturday so it was kind of busy but it's so worth it oh mm. so we at the airport and i'm gonna do an update right quick so um my nail just broke <laughs> I was trying to charge my phone and I'm playing around with this plug here at the airport and look at this y'all. The snail just, just decided to come off. <laughs> and the plug doesn't even work. It's not even charging. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as I get to where I'm going, I'ma find me a Walgreens or something and give me some glue because I got like eight days on this trip. And for that time there's no worry lines that are on final level. So our plane has been delayed for like two hours and um, we've just been sitting here and I broke my nail. <laughs> um, so yeah, once we get, well y'all see where we going. Once we get to Dallas, I'm gonna find me some nail glue cause this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I got cute outfits packed and this ain't, this ain't it. <laughs> so, um, I don't even know what day this was. I think it's, I think we on day like five or six, five. This, this is gonna be a long update, so. <laughs> Yeah. We finally on board. It's been forever. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a quick update. As y'all know, I am in Dallas with my card, and so I'll be wearing these press-ons until I get home. It's gonna be about a week. Man, I don't think it's gonna last, okay? I've been in the pool for two days, and they are starting to buckle. You know, I haven't glued that other piece back on yet, but I do plan on doing so. But let me give y'all an update. Y'all see how, like, it's starting to get like wide and warped on the side. I think that's because I've been in a pool, y'all. I've been in a pool for two days. <laughs> so yeah, these are probably not going to last, but so far, so good. And I'm here, um, you know, for a week. So if I gotta glue them back on, I'm just gonna do that. But we're gonna go and get ready for dinner. So yeah. So we just made it to our second destination. Like I said, we were staying in Dallas a couple more days. The main reason why I wanted to check in is give y'all an update on how these nails are doing. Not so good. <laughs> Granted, you know, I've been traveling and stuff, so like I'm a little more rough on my nails than usual, but we got one broken index nail right here and the other one is broke as well. This is the one that broke first that I was supposed to glue back on, but then this one broke and I was just like, there is no point because I don't even know where this nail is. So yeah, I shouldn't have probably worn press ons to travel. So I don't think I recommend that. <laughs> These nails will probably do well if you're just everyday life and stuff, but no pools, no traveling, no picking up luggage, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna last. It has been a few days since my last update. I've been having so much fun here in Dallas, y'all. It is so much fun. This is like my first real vacation as an adult. <laughs> like me and the hubby, we never been able to travel without the kids. So this time, mother-in-law flew in watching the kids and we have been having so much fun. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> this is about nails. This is about nails. I was happy at first, but as I have these on throughout this trip, I hate that I actually wore these during this trip because um, they look terrible. <laughs> they look really bad, but you know, it's okay. Like I showed y'all, both of my index fingers are broken, but it's actually made the trip a little easier because um, I'm able to press the buttons on the elevator and do stuff without, you know, worrying about my nails being broken. But these ain't for traveling. Like these are to be cute in. So yeah, these have been on for nine days. Nine days of hardcore having fun and vacation. <laughs> I'm just, I'm ready to go home so I can take these off. This hand doesn't look too bad, but my left hand looks really, really bad. We got one more day. Well, one more full day. We leave out on Monday, so. I'm just gonna continue enjoying myself and not think about how bad my nails look. So I wanted to do an update on my nails. And of course, I'm in Starbucks. I don't know if y'all can see. And today, we got hubby with us. Ooh, you didn't expect me. <laughs> this is our last day. 
we're enjoying us a little Starbucks date before we go to the airport. So yeah, these are, you know, they still look really bad, like they looked in the last <laughs> update. <laughs> really bad. I haven't broken any any other nails, so that is really good, but. I'm so ready to get home so I can take these off because when I be talking to people and stuff, I be trying to like hide my nails and stuff so nobody asks to see them because they look so bad. Yeah, that's it and uh, we are gonna be on our way home soon. It's been real in Dallas. We've been here over a week and I'm ready to go home. I miss my bed. I miss waking up whenever I feel like it. Well, I can't even do that anymore because school is back. But uh, I will see y'all when I get back home. All right, so I am back and it's been way over a week. I think I'm on day 13, so yeah, we're just shy of two weeks. And uh, these nails have really kind of been bad. <laughs> As y'all can see, uh, they look really bad. <laughs> um, As y'all saw in my updates, you know, I was at the pool, I was shopping, traveling, so they didn't really last through all of the activities. Um, so, you know, if you pick these up from Sally's, the Nail Bliss, you know, I say, you know, do a couple days, but if you going on vacation, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Cause these look so bad. But yeah, I, we got broken nails and oh, I'm ready to take these off, so. Yes, you know, the other ones have stayed on, but um, you know, I guess if they get enough water or resistance or, I don't know, but I don't know if y'all saw clearly in the vlog what I was talking about, but yeah, like when I was in the pool, like these started to warp on the sides. So you could see it's kind of like oddly shaped. They kind of lose their shape after, you know, some time. They're not as, you know, a crisp coffin like they were, you know, when I first put them on. <laughs> these are like the worst my nails have looked in a very long time. So I'm gonna take these off. But if you enjoy watching press on videos, check out another one right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.